it's very here. <laughs> I think we can all probably agree I'm not the one that you should go to for marriage advice. But I do think that a lot of the lessons that we learned in kindergarten will help you with a happy home. They're lessons like share with each other, always play fair, put everything back where you found it. <laughs> Clean up your own mess, Anna. <laughs> Don't take things that aren't yours. Say you're sorry when you hurt someone. Wash your hands before you eat, which I really hope you did tonight. Flush. <laughs> That's another important one. Take a nap every afternoon. <laughs> and when you go out into the world together, watch for traffic, stay close together, and hold hands. <laughs> You're a great listener, a great musician, and a great friend, Neil. I'm sure you'll be a great husband. When I think of someone that I admire and look up to, I think of you, Anna. But, but you're so much more than me than that. I love you for all of the wonderful things that you are. You're smart and funny. You're kind and dedicated. You're girly and beautiful and strong and so much more. But I also love you for everything that you're not. Well, specifically generic, average, and normal. <laughs> You've taught me that it's okay to be myself. To be comfortable with who I am, and to know that there are great people in the world who will see it and value it. You're my best friend, and on this, your special day, words cannot begin to express how happy I am for you. I want everything good that a person can possibly have in life for you. And all the happiness that goes with it. And Neil, I would ask the same for you, but you already have Anna. Yeah. <laughs> I love you guys. Congratulations, and here's the next 50 plus years of happiness to Anna and Neil.